this is a Windows 95 bootable CD which I will be providing this you don't have you don't need the the C the I mean the floppy sorry about that I'm a little sleepy because I used the program called Nero burning ROM 5 which um, 5 oh, it was 6 5 also but I couldn't understand it so I used 6 and it emulated the A into the CD so first we're gonna type an F disk Oh, first, first before before I get further, the drive R. That's your that's your um that's your CD that's your CD drive that that uh, the installation files of R. So there's all the installation files. So we go back into A because we want to use the F disk. And then this is large support. We're gonna change that from no to yes. That's the letter Y on your keyboard. You can press enter. Uh, we can create a DOS partition uh, or logical DOS drive. Uh, choice one is already entered, so we're gonna just press enter on the keyboard and enter one again for create primary DOS partition. Then we're gonna select uh, yes. You can select no. I'm really haven't selected no. But I'm gonna just leave it at yes. So Y on your keyboard if it's not there, and then press enter. And you're gonna have to reboot if you're on if you're putting it on a CD, um, on a CD. If you put if you put it, uh, yeah. Well, if you put it on a CD and into a computer, then you have to make sure your BIOS boots up uh, CD first on the boot menu. In this case, I'm using VMware, so I'm gonna have to restart, power restart, and I'm gonna have to press escape on my keyboard to get to the to get to this little menu thing the boot up menu so I can boot from the CD again because if you don't it's not gonna boot from the CD it's gonna boot somewhere else and it's gonna go back into the A drive then we're gonna format and then we're gonna see what we're actually gonna do with the format we're gonna format C uh, in this case, I'm going to use S, copy system files to the system format, the disk. I'm, use, I'm using um, notes from a website, that's why. Uh, let's see, format C, S. That's space between the, the, the T and the C, and then the colon and the backslash from where the S is at. You type an enter, erase data, there's nothing in there, so I'm gonna just type the letter Y on my keyboard. And it should start formatting it. Uh, if you want the untouched version, the one that I didn't put the the emulated A drive, so it can boot, so the CD can boot, then uh, go ahead and ask for it on the website. I'll provide every single little detail as possibly can. Uh, other than that, you know, you're on your own. Uh, we're gonna volume label. You can put Windows. You can put cure my mind you can put I love you I don't know what spaces are included so it's like, I love you and stuff like that so I'm not gonna put anything in there so I'm just gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna go into R that's the letter drive R we're gonna copy some files from from the CD to C because then we're gonna so we won't be asked to you know insert insert the the CD which is kind of weird why he asks that but oh well then we're gonna go into uh, the directory folder uh, Windows 95 so CD Win 95 and then we're gonna copy the contents of that to see oh wait wait wait, wait. Uh, I forgot to mention we have to copy the contents. Uh, we first have to make a folder in C. So uh, the folder MD make directory C uh, cabs. I, I'm using um, I'm using the website notes, so that's why I'm using cabs. I haven't tried another name, so I don't know. Uh, then we're gonna copy the contents of this folder. Copy uh, that's star dot star. That's that shift uh, on your eight, and this is um, it's C caps. That's what we're gonna copy to, and there you go. 
Okay, once it copies it, you can go into C, and you should see the directory cabs. So, uh, not DIR, CD, cabs, and then setup. And then we're going to type in, in, not type in, but we're going to hit enter on our keyboard to continue. And this should in start to install the directory files or something like that, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make another video on how to install Windows 98 SE. Um, this is the only two CDs that I have that are kind of old, the Windows 95, and I made it into a bootable for you guys. If you want the original, the one, I'll, I'll even provide the little floppy little image, the, the one that worked for me, the one that I used and if you want but you you have to go ask for it on the website I'm not gonna provide it here so I don't know why you want to install this old system but here it is uh, all the download links for this little for this little for this CD is gonna be on the bottom descriptions okay so now we have continue oh, sorry continue this should start to set up the the Windows 95 CD um, 5 installation. Uh, the ELU uh, in a user license agreement or something like that. So we can type in yes. And next, uh, we're going to put into the C Windows. So that's going to be our installation. And I'm going to go with typical. I'm just cust you know, not nothing custom or anything like that. Just go next. Uh, get your own key. Once once you put in your key, you'll get to the user information. Uh, I'm not get providing you a key. I'm pretty sure there's keys out there you can get yourself. In my mind. But I won't be providing you none of that stuff. No legal shit for me. Uh, I'm going to check these. And put next. Okay, so components uh, install the most common components recommended. I uh, no, I don't want a startup disk. You can go get one if you want. And then you get prompted, that little thing at the bottom will see, it says exit F3, and then that thing will pop up and, and stuff. But anyways, uh, um, I'm only showing you how, to, where to get it, um, which I'm going to give you the CD, the bootable CD of Windows 95, which is, you know, already bootable for you. So if you don't have no floppy anymore because it you know died out on you, then you can use the then you can use this uh, CD and then you know just put it into a just put put it into the into the CD drive and it'll it should boot emulating uh, the A drive. So if you have something old, just make sure that it can boot from BIOS into the CD first, and then once you I don't know. I've never installed it, so you might not even have to copy the contents, but I would if I were you. It's not that hard. It shouldn't be that much. Just copy the contents, then then once you copy the contents, just, just boot from the, take out the CD, and, oh, you still need the A. So just put in the CD, type in uh, setup, go into the C, and then, then type in setup, and then just take out the CD. So what how I would do it. If you need help on that, then go to the website and ask for help. Other than that, if you want the uh, other CD like I mentioned, if I didn't, because I'm a little tired right now, <laughs> go to the website and ask for the. I'll 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 I I will put it up for you. The CD that I didn't you know, I didn't put no no stuff in there. I didn't put nothing in this one either. The the only thing I put into the CD was the emulated floppy. Okay, it's telling us to remove all the floppy disks and stuff like that. I don't have any floppies. Okay, now we're getting updates and configuration. Conf 
configuration configuration file, whatever that is, and then plug and play. And then here, just type close. Did I say type? I meant click. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> uh. And I'm in already Pacific time. You can... Scroll down to yours. I'm already in Pacific, so I'm just going to click close. And then this is for the um, printer. I'm cancel because I don't have a printer. And then restart your computer again. And there you have it. Uh, to create a new user, just let me type in the user clear my mind. In my case, I was going to ask you for a new password. I'm going to leave that blank because I don't want a password. Uh, I'll provide where you can get the the internet, the uh, the a newer internet than the one that it has. And this should be how you install this, uh, how to get sound on it, how to get the internet going. Uh, go to the web, go to my website or go, you know, use Google and search for it on your own. CDs are like 600 megabytes, a little over than 600 megabytes. But anyways, this is Cure My Mind saying, why would you install this old thing? Leave the comments below. Yeah, well, goodbye.